Hey everyone, welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani, your host and teacher. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a very cool sound effect. You're not gonna believe how the sound is actually made, so stay tuned. World Drum Club. All right, let's see what we have here. So this is called a wind wand, and it's a handle you can see it's kind of a bow shape. Now you may not be able to see the rubber band on here because this one is green, same as my green screen. So it's probably disappearing. So I have some different size rubber bands, uh, but basically the way this works is you put a rubber band around this bow here. And let me take it off for a second. So again, I don't know if you can see this rubber band or not, but I have a, let me use the red one. I'll grab the red one. Red one's a little bit smaller. So now we have um, the rubber band and I'm just gonna place it across this frame, which as we mentioned is kind of a bow shape. And I'm gonna go over this other end, make sure this is in the back. So in the back, you can see it runs along here and then there's actually a notch so that you can have it centered in the front. Now this rubber band is not ideal, I tried to get some large, you need large rubber bands. And I got this bag it's called Super Size Rubber Bands. <laughs> but um, they're not really wide enough. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I'm doing the best I can with what I have, uh, which is what we all should do. So you just put the rubber band around here and you can see that it's, it's kind of loose. And then just on the other side, I have a little handle. And I didn't make this. And I don't know where I got it. I've had it a long time, but here's what this sounds like with the red rubber band. Now it's very floppy and loose. So I'm going to tighten this up by just pulling it and letting the slack go to the back side. And let's see how much of a difference that makes. Okay, so kind of cool. Had a little bit of a rattly sound. Um, I have a big, <clears throat> a bigger one. The red one is the smallest rubber band. This is the blue one. It comes, uh, this particular pack of rubber bands comes with three different sizes and three different colors. And blue is the biggest. So let's see what blue sounds like. And I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit because I think they sound better when you tighten them a little. If you want to hear what this uh, instrument sounded like with its original big wide rubber band, which was about double the width of this one, you can go to the track called Pangea from my first CD called Pangea. And you can get that on CD Baby or iTunes and um, check it out because before it broke, it, um, it sounded amazing. There's some other videos around. Uh, people make these wind wands and you can search for wind wand on YouTube here and see some other people demonstrating them. Um, and I'm gonna keep working on getting a larger rubber band for this. But in the meantime, I'm sure you're wondering what two rubber bands would sound like. So we're gonna try that right now. I'm gonna put the green one on here and I'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap so they're not touching. Let's see what the dual rubber band sounds like. This is blue and green. That's a very windy sound. <laughs> but is it wandy? Is it wind wandy? All right, I'm going to tighten these up because I want to get the slapping sound out. You know, it might be coming from the back, actually, that kind of slappy vibration sound. So let's see if I can dial this in. Are you guys liking this? Which rubber band do you think sounds best? It 
So obviously this is a sound effect. It can be used in uh, movie soundtracks, or I used it on, a, on that recording that I made, uh, that track called Pangea, on my CD Pangea. And um, they're related to another instrument called the bull roarer, or bull roar. Sometimes you see it spelled bull roarer, which is not that easy to say. So <laughs> let's just call it bull roar. And that's actually a piece of wood and that's a hunting tool or, you know, to, to, I think it's used, people swing it around to either intimidate animals so they don't come bother them. Like, like there's a, there's a lion, it could be a lion or bull, uh, lion roar or bull roar. Um, it could be used to flush maybe game out from, you know, hiding so you can get it uh, as a hunting tool. You can look it up and find out more about the bull roar and this, the wind wand. Now, I do have a couple other types of wind wands. I'm going to show you right now. So I have these two types and yeah, there's no rubber band on this one because these need a wide rubber band and you can watch some of the other videos on YouTube. Um, I'll work on getting one and when I do, I'll make a video with this one, but this is one that you end up hooking up. Ooh, hello. <laughs> this is a single band. This is a double rubber band. So you can see what it looks like. This one comes on a string and you twirl this around and it gets uh, amazing sounds when you have the right rubber bands. I tried these red ones, and they didn't work so well. So, but I just wanted to show you the design. This one you would spin around, you can hold it like this, and, or you can just hold it and And it kind of sounds like, um, like the Jedi lightsaber or whatever it's called. Um, I think that's what it's called. And uh, it's something that you want to look into and maybe explore. You can get your hands on some. I think people make these available. If I find links to purchase these or something like this, I'll put it in the links. Uh, in the meantime, what do you guys think of the wind wand uh, slash bull roar sound effect? Uh, and if you get a chance to listen to Pangea, that track off of the CD, Pangea, you'll hear it right in the beginning and it's very expressive. Uh, and I put a lot of sound effects in there. So if you're a fan of percussion-based sounds, um, go check that out. Thanks for joining me on World Drum Club, and I will see you all soon. Make sure to like and subscribe. Join us at patreon.com if you haven't already.